Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. We've got a head Super Shape E Speed for you today. Uh, this thing just looks fast. It's super awesome for front side skiing. You know, it's 68 millimeters underfoot, uh, 10 millimeters narrower than what we see in the Super Shape uh, Rally. So this E Speed definitely lies more on the front side aspect. Not quite as much versatility. Uh, but definitely more torsional stiffness and edge grip uh, for those former racers, advanced expert skiers who are kind of looking for that narrower waist in a frontside ski. I think this represents a really, really strong option in that department. Uh, we are built with their World, World Cup wood core. Uh, we get two sheets of metal and a strip of graphene that runs from tip to tail. So it's a pretty burly build, definitely adds some strength and power to it. Uh, this one here is the 177. Uh, we do have this binding plate on here, but the ski is coming in at 2,265 grams. Uh, so it's pretty heavy, pretty strong. Anytime you see those two sheets of metal in here, uh, it's going to add up in the weight department. We also get their energy management circuit. Uh, so this filters out unwanted vibrations, uh, whether it works the way they say it does or not. I don't really care. Uh, when we get on these things, they are extremely strong and stable no vibrations, no chatter. It is just true tip to tail edge contact and that leads to very smooth on-trail skiing. Uh, we are seeing a radius of 15.3 meters in this 177, uh, so 68 millimeters underfoot. Definitely on the narrow side, you know, we're not quite at race width yet, but not too far off either. Definitely need to have some type of uh, skill to be able to drive this thing and stand on it. Uh, you know, it's definitely more of that hockey skate width underfoot, so you don't want to get it wiggly like that. You really want to keep this thing up on edge and in a carved turn. Uh, it'll definitely be happier that way. Uh, but that, you know, that metal and that graphene really make this thing uh, quite stiff. You know, that shorter turn radius is really helpful in allowing you to get on edge and make those edge angles required to carve a clean turn. Uh, but overall, it's pretty stiff, pretty narrow. Uh, it's going to be demanding for a lot of skiers. But we're seeing a lot of camber underfoot here. You know, not a whole lot going on in terms of rocker profile. Great energy from the camber built into the ski. You're just going to get true tip, tip to tail edge contact. Uh, yeah, no, no rocker going on here. Uh, no taper as well. So you're really uh, tip to tail. That edge is going to be on the snow for a very long time and that leads to very smooth performance. Again, very squared off, very flat, minimal, minimal splay here. You know, even in the rally, we see a little bit more, uh, but this one is definitely blockier and wants to be on the snow, connected to the snow for as long as possible. So that's, you know, that's gonna be prohibitive for a lot of skiers uh, that are in that intermediate to advanced range versus advanced to expert. So. Having that flat tail with all that metal back there does make it pretty hard to release the turn and get into the next one. Uh, so just be aware of that going through your process is that this is not uh, the easiest or most user-friendly ski out there. Uh, but if you do know how to use it, it's about as strong and stable as it gets. Uh, so make sure you check out this Head Super Shape E-Speed here at SkiEssentials.com and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye!